in this video i want to solve four problems and these problems are very very important for the exam See, let us solve this problem first when y gallons of crude oil are produced the average cost per barrel is this this is the average cost function per barrel find the value of y that minimize average cost per barrel and compute the minimum average cost per barrel uh, in our previous video we solved several problems for several nonlinear functions so here <coughs> this function is real function real average cost function and we want to we want to do the same procedure in order to solve this problem so you are your given function is a which is a function of y so you need to calculate a prime y how can we calculate the first derivative of this function if you uh, know if you watch my previous videos you can easily understand it but let me calculate again here a prime y will be 2500 is a constant so you can just put it here and the lower part will be what 2500 the denominator we can take in the numerator 0.04 y plus 9 whole to the power negative 1 so the derivative of this one will be what minus 1 uh, 0.04 y plus 9 whole to the power minus 2 into 0.04 because derivative of 0.04 y plus 9 equal to this if you don't understand these things clearly you need to watch my previous videos plus derivative of 0.16 y will be 0 0.16 and this equal uh, 2500 2, into minus 1 into 0 0.04 that will be equal to minus 100 minus 100 0 0.04 y plus 9 whole to the power negative 2 plus 0 0.0 0 0.16 now we need second derivative so you need to differentiate this first derivative again that will be minus 100 into minus 2 this power minus 2 into 0 0.04 y plus 9 whole to the power minus 3 into derivative of this which is 0 0.04 plus 0 this since this is constant so this equal to what so it will be 8 into 0 0.04 y plus 9 whole to the power negative 3 this is the second derivative now by setting first derivative equal to 0 you need to calculate y this is your first derivative so if you put this one equal to 0 first derivative equal to 0 and you can easily solve it you see first derivative equal to 0 this implies 100 into 0 0.04 y plus 9 whole to the power negative 2 which is equal 0 0.16 since minus and minus will cancel so this implies 0 0.04 y plus 9 whole to the power negative 2 is equal 0 0.16 divided by 100 which is equal 16 divided by 100 into 100 so 4 25 and 25 this equal 1 by 25 
all square 1 by 25 whole square and which is equal 25 to the power negative 2 25 to the power negative 2 now you see since the power is same this power and this power is same so we can write uh, we can equate the base 0 0.049 0 0.y plus 9 equal to 25 and this implies y equal 25 minus 9 divided by 0 0.04 this equal 16 divided by 0 0.04 this equal 16 into 100 divided by 4 and this equal 400 400 so y equal to 400 barrels but we don't know whether this y minima is the cost function average cost function or, or not to check it we need to put y in the second derivative so if we put 400 in the second derivative we obtain a positive value which indicate that y there is a minimum average cost per barrel at y equal to 400 so y equal to 400 barrels is the answer for A. Now to find the minimum average cost per barrel, you need to put 400 in the given function. So given function means this function, this function. So if you replace y by 400, then you will get 2500 divided by 0 0.04 into 400 plus 9 plus 0.16 into 400 which is equal this 164 dollar per barrel so this is the answer of this problem and the same way you can solve this problem here uh, the derivative is exactly same so you can solve this problem exactly same way like the previous problem i hope you can try it in your apartment by yourself and question 3 also same the derivative and of p this is a profit function so the second derivative at the x values you will obtain from the first derivative equal to 0 will be negative you see second which is a negative value so there is a maximum profit at this x values and the maximum profit you will get if you put this x in the profit function and the derivative is very simple let me show you the first derivative p prime x will be half will be here and 100 plus 10 x all to the power half minus 1 into 10 derivative of 100 plus 10 x equal to 10 minus 0 0.2 which is equal 5 into 100 plus 10x all to the power negative half minus 0 0.2 so this is the first derivative and by uh, you can also calculate the second derivative here to calculate the stationary point let us let us consider p prime equal to 0 and this is p prime you can solve this one by yourself this is the x value and this x value if you put in the given function you will get the maximum profit which is 14.5 dollar and the last one is exactly same this is also a profit function and the derivative is also exactly same you can also solve it by yourself here the t values will be 10 if you put t equal to 10 in the second derivative it will be negative so there is a maximum point at t equal to 10 and the maximum profit you will obtain if you put 10 in this function if you put 10 in this function so you can see just like before you can try to solve this one by your apartment you need to calculate first derivative then second derivative you don't need third derivative because there is 
nothing you can calculate regarding inflection point or station inflection point and if you put first derivative equal to 0 you will obtain t equal to 10 and this t you need to put in the second derivative you must need to calculate k double prime 10 that will be negative i think that will be negative so now you can confirm that there is a maximum point at t equal to 10 and the maximum value you will obtain if you put 10 in the given function that will be 2.500 pounds so that's all in this video i hope now you can solve any problem uh, by yourself and if you have any question or comments you can write in the comment box then i will try to answer by myself thank you very much for your watching see you in the next video